What's up, guys? Sorry for the lack of videos lately. I finally moved into a new apartment with my girlfriend, and kind of all my mental space has been just divided up into things that I need and things that I needed to do getting ready for the move. Mm -hmm. um, so that's mostly cleared up now. Like, I still have a couple things I need to get, but it's, like, nowhere near the large scale that it was. So I apologize for that. But I am back and got some updates. So finally, my workout routine has changed. And things are a little bit different, but a lot of the stuff the same. So a lift, lifts performed are the same. However, uh, I'm not doing two back days and two chest days anymore. Just doing one back day that's all uh, rowing intensive. And then one chest day, which is like the normal chest day. Um, but my leg day, which I have been complaining for the longest time, is like astronomically long. That's been split up across two different sessions. So one for hamstrings and one for quads, which literally just split the day in half because the lifts are divided up amongst those two days accordingly. But it's causing me to be in the gym for a lot less time and have less fatigue going into those muscle groups. So I get to put a little bit more attention on that. The biggest thing overall, though, is that the volume is reduced. Um, set volumes reduced. Um, like the, the rep scheme is up, but I'm not doing so many total sets. So I'm not in the gym as long and I'm able to move a bit faster now with uh, less stuff going on. So that's pretty ideal for me at this moment because I haven't been recovering the best. Um, there's like, <laughs> my body feels like the check engine light is on pretty much. And I have been feeling it get like very modestly better over the past week. But I'm also only like five days into this new routine. So my body needs a little bit of catching up time to uh, balance out. And I want to be healed up because I'm going to do a prep soon. And that's going to be like just fatigue upon fatigue with not, but the recovery is not going to match the fatigue level throughout a prep. So I, I don't want to start that off on the wrong foot and then be in a bad position going through it because I don't want to risk getting hurt or anything like that. So. That's why it's really crucial to do what I'm doing right now. Now, just with my own knowledge base and how I interact with my coach, what I foresee happening, which I, I would not be surprised if it exactly plays out this way, is that I'm going to keep on this current routine um, in, in the beginning of the prep, but about two weeks into the prep, that's when we're going to transition into doing more volume. That's at least how I see it, and it will be done because – once I start the prep, I'll be back taking all the supplements. You know what I mean? I'll be back taking everything I need to take. And that'll boost my recovery abilities up some more. So because of that, um, I'm going to be able to uh, really gain more ground back that I've already like set the precedent of, of with my recovery. Uh, but the reason it's going to be like two weeks into the prep is because I just, I foresee it being where like, Things obviously need to build up in my system, but uh, uh, above all else, like taking advantage of that little extra bit of recovery before being in the perfect spot to then up the volume back up again, which is how I see things going. Um, something that I, 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 I could see it exactly going that way. Something I am unsure about, though, that I, I'm kind of, I kind of have reservations about is the um, not so much the one back day, but the components of it because it's all rowing intensive. Um, I, I've never done a routine in my life where I have not done like pull-ups or any pull-down movements or, uh, or even pull-overs, like things like that. Um, so that's new for me. And um, I kind of feel like being as wide as possible is a big advantage. So I, I don't want to take those out because while my back has been growing faster than everything else, I don't know if the pull-downs – uh, pull down movements would be the common denominator with keeping things how they should, you know, like, I don't know if my back's going to diminish any if I'm doing just the rowing day. I don't know that. Um, so a little, I'm a little bit anxious in that regard. Uh, and I, I like doing pull ups and pull downs. I just, I always have like them. Um, I always enjoy training back the most. That's, that's honestly probably why it's my best muscle group. It's because I enjoy training it so much. Um, but that's just kind of how I, I am a bit anxious about the whole thing. So, again, it's new for me. I, I've never done a workout plan where I haven't done pull-down. So, it'll be good to switch things up. I'm happy about that. Um, 
and I, I'm really psyched to uh, start like gaining ground back with recovery because my, again, my body's just been really banged up. Uh, like my collarbone is having weird pressure on it. The shoulder feels weird. I'm, I'm having trouble like even sleeping on my uh, side with my arm lately. Cause it's like causing uh, prolonged like shoulder discomfort for like the rest of the week when I do it. So like I got that. Uh, my knee, my hip, my elbow, like, uh, my neck's a little tight. It's a whole bunch of stuff. And I gotta, I gotta sort that out. Cause that's just like, it's a recipe to, to not have a good time trying to make it to show day. And I want to make it to show day the best I can, not, um, make it there with a subpar physique. So that's how I feel about it. Um, so what's going on, guys? Like, are, are any of you doing any, like, new workout routines or switching things up? Maybe you started a new diet protocol. Like, if you want to comment about that, that'd be pretty sweet. I, um, you know, my diet's about the same uh, as it has been. Uh, like, the food's been reduced, and it, it got reduced because I had been pounding food at very high volumes for well over a year. Um, and I started, like, having terrible like indigestion problems like i would get to the point where i wanted to uh i would have to like forcibly uh stop myself from throwing up after every time i ate i'd have to like sit still after i ate or i'd have to throw up like it was that bad um but again like i put on a ton of muscle um nowhere close to how much i need but i put on a ton of muscle uh but i had to reduce the food because i'm throwing it up at that point and it's like consistently happening like the onset of the onset of it like, maybe once a week, uh, like, on the cheat meal day, like, maybe I would throw up. Um, but then, like, it started happening more frequently, and then it became, like, an everyday thing, and then it became an every time I eat thing. And, like, it, it just progressed that way because my, my stomach can't handle that much food. I, I'm sure that I'm having, like, insulin issues as well because, like, that's a lot of work for my pancreas to keep pumping out insulin to flush the blood sugar. It's just, it's a lot of work on the, the organs. So the, the reduced food volume has been making me feel great. I've leaned out like very minutely, not a lot, but enough that I have some water off my body right now. And I see a little bit more separation at the moment, which would be good because I'm about to go into a 20 week prep and I'd kind of, I'd rather get ready early, but also at a steady pace than have to, uh, like destroy myself on the back end just to make it uh, like to the acceptable body fat level I need. That's I, that's how I like to do things. Like even when I used to uh, compete in boxing and uh, MMA, I would always stay within five pounds of my the, the way I needed to weigh in at. I didn't want to do any crazy water cuts or anything. Like I didn't like I've been I I was like that with powerlifting as well. Like I didn't want to do anything that could potentially jeopardize my performance ability. Um, and it would make me anxious and stress me out even thinking about it. So I would never do that. I would just stay relatively around where I need to be. Uh, and that's just kind of my mindset with it. Like, I don't want to do extreme stuff. I want to like be dialed in all the time. So I don't have to worry about shit like that. And that's just how I've always approached things. I know a ton of people who like do the, the freaking opposite of that. And like, yeah, like maybe they're talented enough to, to get by at a high level uh, like that, but honestly, like, it's just, it's sad because when you do that to your body, whenever you have, like, any kind of competition, like, what's happening is, like, now, maybe even if you won, your performance was not the best. Like, you don't want your highlight reel to be stuff you did in training or, or in the gym, you know? You want your highlight reel to be the performance day. There was, like, a common problem with, like, West Side Barbell guys back in the day. Like, the things they did in the gym were crazy, but the things they did on the meet days didn't stack up. Um, not, not all of them, of course, but, like, that was a common thing. Um, and that's just due to, like, you know, not dealing enough and stuff. But anyway, so what do you guys think? Are you guys doing anything uh, anything new? Have you ever done a back day without any pull-downs? Um, is your diet different? I don't know. I want to see you guys later. I'm going to get back to work, and uh, I'm happy to be back posting these videos.